This video is an overview of the digestive system structures on this muscle torso model. First, we are going to be focusing on the abdominal pelvic cavity, starting superiorly and moving inferiorly. This is the liver. Okay. Peeking out uh, inferior to the liver is the gallbladder. This is the stomach. We can see the stomach um, dumps food into the small intestine. Small intestine, we can also see here. Okay. The first section is the duodenum. The second specific structure is the jejunum. And the third specific structure within the small intestine is the ileum. Wrapping up and around the small intestine, we see the large intestine. So this here is the large intestine. Hanging off the uh, anterior side of the small intestine is this structure right here. We can see that it kind of folds back on itself like this. Um, this is actually a fatty um, or a fat filled double, double membrane structure. This is the peritoneum. And when it folds over the entire um, the entire intestines, we call this the greater omentum. And we can also see a little bit of it uh, here on the stomach. Okay, so this is the greater omentum. Okay, let's kind of dig in a little bit now. Okay, if we flip the liver, what we can see is the gallbladder. We can see the cystic duct. We can see the common hepatic duct. We can see the common bile duct. And of course, the common bile duct is taking bile from both the gallbladder and the liver down, ultimately to deposit within the duodenum. And so this uh, tiny little green uh, duct right here is actually an extension of the greater bile duct up here. Okay, so we can see that it is ultimately going to deposit into the duodenum. Okay, other structures that we can see from this perspective, the IVC. Okay. This purple vessel here is the hepatic portal vein. And the red vessel, which is delivering oxygenated blood to the liver, is uh, the common hepatic artery. Okay, so you probably already know that from previous sections of the course. Okay, let's get the liver out of the way. And what we can see deep to the liver, or um, kind of to the left of the liver here, is the stomach. Okay, here is the esophagus. Okay allowing food to pass uh, from the esophagus into the stomach here. Um, we can see that there is a kind of a dome structure here. This is called the fundus. The stomach itself is curved. And so this inner curve is the lesser curvature, the broader curve here on the left side. This is the greater curvature. If we take a look inside the stomach, we can see that there are lots of these little ridges here. These are called the rugae. Okay. Next, um, we can see that the stomach funnels down into this narrower region here. This is called the pyloric region. Okay. And this is where food um, is actually going to be passed into the small intestine uh, via a circular muscle right here. Okay, so we can't see it specifically, but we can see that the stomach kind of narrows out here. The circular muscle here is called the pyloric sphincter. Okay, from the stomach, food passes from or through the pyloric sphincter into this first section of the small intestine, which is called the duodenum. Now, as soon as this super uh, acidic, uh, what is called chyme from the stomach, so uh, stomach acid and enzymes and partially digested food, um, is going to very much change the pH of this duodenum here. And so we have a couple different secretions that are actually going to help us to continue the digestion as well as to greatly increase that pH um, so we don't harm the intestinal lining. Okay, so in order to discuss that, let's get the stomach out of the way. Okay. Um, one of the organs that's responsible for um, secreting into the duodenum is this organ right here. This is the pancreas. Within the pancreas, we can see this little green duct. This is the main pancreatic duct. Okay. Um, and essentially, this duct is going to carry 
uh, buffers, it's going to carry um, digestive enzymes for all four of the different biomolecule groups, ultimately depositing them into the duodenum here. Now, of course, uh, these pancreatic juices get mixed together with the bile that's ultimately come from the liver and the gallbladder uh, before entering into the duodenum.